Hello guys and welcome back to some more World of Tanks. Today I'm bringing you a fair few replays, a couple in the actual, uh, the, in the Ignis. Um, this is what, uh, these games were quite a, uh, a while ago, um, while I was actually trying to earn the Ignis, uh, just for the silver. Uh, we had the operation to get 50% off the Rogal Dawn, I got that. Uh, and I was might, thought I might as well go for the Ignis or the Teeth Breaker. I thought the Ignis would be more worth more silver because I got both, so I went for the Ignis, um, and I got it. Um, but honestly, to be honest, probably was not worth it. Um, I've got 150 million silver, um, and obviously, four point, I think it was 4.6 you get for it. Um, you know, it's a nice chunk, but um, doesn't seem to make much of a dent to be honest. Um, so yeah, in this game it is encounter, and we've taken this position here. I uh, always like, kind of like this position because there's always aggressive tanks in Cold War, and they they're willing to push up. Um, some of them in the open, so I can you know farm them. Uh, but I don't seem to be getting many points here. I, I mean, there's not many teammates here, so it's not probably not going to go well. As you can see, one of our guys has killed himself, which is fantastic. Yeah, so the title is The End, right? Um, and, then we're, and we're talking end game, as in the game completely shutting down. Now, this is obviously just a theory. I've spoken about it with a couple of people, you know, and I've probably mentioned it before on videos. But um, is the game coming to an end? Now... YouTubers have been saying this for like five years, right? Um, the player base isn't that good. I mean, recently I've seen bots as high as tier seven. Uh, so, you know, and now the thing is, is obviously what I've, what I've evidence is there to say, suggest it's ending. And, uh, and this is all speculation, obviously. Like I said, people have been rumoring, you know, talking about the game, uh, rumors going around the game's ending for years and years and years. And it just keeps going, right? Um, but um, as we can see, there is a massive, um, massive um, increase in monetization of the game. I mean, the... You know, season pass, the premium time, these, the increase in these, the, um, the increase of, um, increase of premium tank prices, just insane. Uh, recently, like Cold War tanks going for like 15,000 gold is ridiculous. Now, obviously, the theory is that they know the game is. The higher ups are going. You know, we are shutting the game down in like a year or whatever. Uh, so we want you to make as much money as feasibly possible. Uh, you can even be ridiculously silly with the prices and stuff. Uh, and this is the why the um, aggressive microtransactions are a thing. You know that kind of thing. Um, as you can see, we are getting a lot of great missile shots off here. Um, and we are actually winning at this point, so it's very nice. As you can see, we've got about just over 7,000. If I can finish off this guy, and of course, that glass shot bounces, leaving this guy alive nonetheless. Quite irritating. Wondering whether I should go for a reload or not. Um, yeah, and again, it could be. We just want to make as much money as we can. Uh, so there's still all these micron transactions. Or like I said, it could be like they know they're closing doors uh, in the near future. Uh, they just want to make as much money as they can. Um, either way, you know, I I mean, obviously I'll be sad because I've spent so much money on this. Uh, and I've popped his turret there. And this is where uh, I get killed. But we got... Over 9,000 combined. Not a bad game. But as you can see, my team is... Well, we've got one teammate there who is just AFK. Or whatever. And, yeah, just not... It's just not going well, is it? Yeah. 
yeah, and this is kind of what I, you know, a couple of game sessions, I long game sessions, ended up kind of like just just ending like this, having great games, but my team just collapsing. Not much else you can do. Maybe I could have got another thousand damage or something, but if I was a little bit more careful, but not really. Don't think I could have done much more, but. You know, so I did my share. This guy's just gonna stay FK the whole game. Just absolutely brilliant. Um But yeah, I mean like I said Um If they if the game does close I won't be too sad I guess. I mean like I said, I'll be sad about the fact that I spent so much money on the game and now it's all useless. Um, that is very annoying, and I honestly don't think that should be a thing. Um, but apart from that, probably better spent spending my time on other games anyway. Um, but as it is, we'll continue to make videos until it closes, right? Um, as you can see, we made a nice bit of silver, but yeah, that was it. High caliber. I did almost double what the highest person on the enemy team did, but we still lost. So yeah, sucks, 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 sucks. But um, that's that's World of Tanks, right? Now we're going in, out in the Leopard to a four. It's the tank line I'm going up. I've actually now unlocked the next tank, the last tank, uh, and sold this one. Uh, but it's nice to this has must have been very close to when I've finished grinding this so that's nice to have a quite a rememberable game to end and this tank on and on obviously going on to the next in uh, next in line um, yeah just kind of waiting on this corner waiting for someone to make a mistake um, aggressively push of course bounce that short and then someone gets spotted, and it's a weasel too. Very, got to be very careful. And of course, these guys are not really paying attention, so they're going to get a missile in the rear. Quite a good position for that weasel toe, especially when he's covered. And then we put a lovely shot into him. Wait for this guy to come out, finish him off. Unfortunately, didn't couldn't put any more shots into that weasel toe. Um, that uh, it's, it's a kind of a nerf, I suppose. But the ability to actually ram weasel toes and actually do some damage to them, uh, even though the chances of it, you've got to be like seven times high, uh, heavier than them to do damage, which I think is absolutely ridiculous. But it is actually a bit of a nerf. I've actually managed to see people actually ram the guy to de uh, Weasel Toast to death, and that's oh, it's glorious. Um, that guy's uh, put a shot right into me. As you can see, I'm still using the normal, normal rounds at the moment, um, but we will probably run out fairly soon. And he's going for me still, and fantastic. And he missed that shot. Managed to get away, but now he's getting completely pushed there. Not going to be alive for too much longer. Waiting for these guys to get pushed out over here. And there we go. Lovely shot into him. Pull back. He's not looking in my direction anyway. Someone messed up a missile there. Could have taken their time with that, to be honest. And there we go. Bounces that shot. Probably shouldn't have bothered ramming him, but it's fun to get a kill on the ram. Unfortunately, not quite heavy enough to ram him to death. Uh, as you can see, we are winning, but there's still a chance they could pull it back, right? And there's that weasel toe there. Very much hoping that he pulls out in front of me so I can put a shot into him. And there's actually another one there. Why, where? I don't know. What, that was a kind of bad shot, but again, there seems to be really bad. Again. Mm. 
Uh, some really bad lag at the moment in the game. I'm not the only one experiencing it, that's for sure. Um, uh, another YouTuber I watch seems to be suffering from it bad, I, so I don't think it's my internet. Um, I think it's um, Wargaming's side, but they don't seem to really bother putting any resources into that. Um, hence why another reason why are they actually not bothering anymore. That was a bit silly, he, he stopped there and obviously it takes time for him to build at speed. But Glorious managed to get a weasel toe out of the game and there you go. He's still mainly on full oh, annoying on full health there. Can we put a shot into him? Annoyingly not. So we're gonna he's gonna go everyone is just following him, so we're gonna go in the opposite direction. We're going to go down the middle. He's going to outrun all those guys. But, um... There he is. Of course, he flips around. Tries to put a missile onto me. He does, but I ram him for all of his health. Uh, so we get over 9,006 kills. That's a pretty good game. We're thankful for that. We've got first class. Not bad. And thank God Weasel Toes had, and the other team had a bad game. Which is all that matters to me in the end. Um, so obviously, we've got not got a bad crew in this either. Um, anyway, yeah, we started partway through, but obviously nothing's happened. We're in Swamp and we're in the Ignis again. Um... Can we actually win this one this time? Um, yeah, very annoying when you've had a great game and you don't, you, your team just collapses. Um, so let's see if we can pull off a win this time. Tempted to fire my missile, but probably wouldn't have hit. He ducked down behind cover, so it's probably a good thing I didn't fire. Seeing, yeah, there we go. Trying to track him in place. No point in firing a missile. Pull back. They're being a little bit aggressive here. We've got a missile ready, so let's hope one of them makes a mistake. He does. But do barely any damage. Which is very annoying. And that guy didn't do much damage to him either. And he's aggressively pushing here, even though they, he knows there's at least two enemy tanks here. I'm not sure what he's thinking, really. We'll track him in place, actually do some damage. Now we can just pump him. He put smoke up, but pointless. Uh, you know, if you're tracked in place, I'm going to just keep firing. We go for another reload. Might have been a bad idea. Could have put the rest of my shots into these guys. Uh, but obviously... In hindsight, it's, you know, it's always better in hindsight, right? Fire a missile, it gets away from me. Might as well just try it, try my luck with that. Uh, while I'm still reloading my main clip. I'm hoping this guy pushes out. Just can't seem to feather a shot in. This guy lets me put loads of shots into him. Now, he's going aggressively after this guy but it's going to cost him his basically his old like old hit points not sure why he would do that again probably wasn't a good idea to fire the missile there um hoping he was going to stay tracked to be fair but um unlikely with uh reusable repair kits right Now, some people swear about having track mechanic and and repair or repair on their on their tanks. Awesome, pend him for six hundred odd, and then set him on fire. Um, trying to finish this guy off. You know it's going to be difficult with the last shot. There we go. But do we go for a reload? We do. Now, like I said, some YouTubers swear to have repair and th things, but it's when you've got your reusable repair kits, it's like, hmm. 
I don't think there's quite that much point in it, you know. Especially, you know, back in the past, before reusable repair kits, then, yeah, I would say that was a more of a sound uh, skill. Especially when you had multiple skills, right? You had so many skills to choose from. Yeah, willing to take a hit. i pump this guy full of shots. Of course, this guy is an FV, so gonna struggle to pen this guy he's going after me but I'm gonna get out of there waiting for the missile missiles reloaded going after the other guys on the because that FV has died now now again we got a pretty similar score right now we got 8,000 uh, quite a bit over 8,000 damage uh, four kills um, so not bad, but we are definitely going to win this game. It's 6-2, right? Although we are on very little health. Basically, any missiles that hit us will one-shot to those. anybody with a missile. Annoying. Such a shame. I'm going to get out of this game. Before, yeah. Unfortunately, missed out on any more damage but it was still a good game and we actually won this time uh always but still kind of a little bit annoying that we had a slightly better game um in the last one uh, but lost and we have a slightly worse game and we win anyway if you when it comes to this last replay if you did like the video give it a like and subscribe i'll be bringing you more replays in the near future i've got a whole bunch of them to record at the moment um so yeah, you'll, there'll be a good slew of videos in the near future. Anyway, we are out on the e in the E4. It's been a very long time, time since I paid this tank. Um, it's always been a sol very solid tank. Um, those who don't know, E4 is a, a TD, but you want to be using it as a heavy. Um, it, it's got a big gun, but it's quite derpy. But you got very good armor. Um, all things considered, obviously, like I said, armor isn't worth that much these days. But it's uh, it can bank shots, especially at lower tier tanks. Um, so we get the first shot off and a bit of this. This, uh, but obviously, like I said, in tier ten games, I've a lot like uh, Cold War at the moment. There's a lot of big guns in the game. You've got artillery, you've got the uh, ship barn, you've got the ruthless there. Now, people say, oh, well, the ruthless is kind of balanced. It's not particularly good, right? Of course, fluff that shot. Really could have done with that. But it just means there's another big gun in the game, right? And we've just got loads of them at the moment. Um, so even like a terrible player in a terrible, uh, in a not so good, ruthless, uh, he could still ruin my game just by combing around the corner and blapping me and penning me for most over half my hit points. Um, and then he gets killed, but he still ruined my game, right? You know, there's no, there's no changing that. Um, just because he dies almost immediately after, doesn't change the fact that he's ruined, kind of ruined my game. And there's there's the Death Star again. We've got a ruthless a Death Star, an AVRE, and artillery. Just absolute nonsense. We're aggressively pushing here. Two chieftains. Put a lovely shot into him. His teammate takes uh, puts a hit into me. See if I can do any damage. Ram him to death. Unfortunately, don't quite get the reload. Now artillery pens hits us for quite a bit of our health, which is always fun. See if we can spot anybody up. And there's the ruthless. Hoping, yeah, he's taken out. And the artillery goes for us as well, even though there's a mouse on the team. And I get splashed. He hits the mouse, but does damage to me. Luckily, we take out the Death Star. We're going to use this as a bit of our, our armor against the artillery. Ow. 
and we take him out. Um, really just kind of at this point in time really want to get revenge on that artillery. As you can see we've not had the best game right. We've had just over 2,000. We've got three kills which is pretty decent. Um, and there's not that many enemies left. Uh, we put a lovely shot into the artillery. Uh, sweet sweet revenge. Um, obviously there is four enemy tanks left. I mean, to be having a good game, we only need to put like a couple more shots in, to be honest. And we do put another lovely shot in. In fact, just about 4,000 combined just under. Now, let's see where the other enemy team is. Our AT is going to get absolutely wiped by the light tank. Oh, I say that. It's got, uh, got taken out by the AVRE. The AVRE is still in the game. <sighs> just not good, because we could be... Basically, he could splash us and put us down to like 100 health. There's a badger over there. Put a lovely shot into him. Tried to track him at the same time, but it's kind of can't figure out where what he what I was what I was actually seeing of the tank. Don't need to really uh, track it. Just need to finish it off. So here we go. We got over 6,000 combined. That's the AVRE left. We really want to take this guy out, but unfortunately we don't. So, there you go. About 6,000 combined. Not a bad game in the E4. It's been a very long time since it's actually gone out in it. Anyway, first class. Nice way to end the video. Bye, guys.